नमस्ते आई एम रघु फ्रॉम आई जिम अपैरल इंजीनियरिंग सेंटर बैंगलोर इंडिया टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन एंड डेमोन्स्ट्रेट अबाउट बटन होल मशीन डिसमेंडलिंग प्रोसीजर एंड असेंबली प्रोसीजर अलॉन्ग विद स्टैंडर्ड एडजस्टमेंट्स इन द मशीन एंड हियर वी गो विद ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम now i will show you how to fix this trimmer plate on the machine head before fixing the trimmer plate we need to observe this curve and there is a curve here also on the machine casting so we need to fix this upper trimmer plate positioning to this curve and fix the trimmer plate along with the four screws after fixing the trimmer plate four screws from the bottom of the machine we need to tighten this fifth screw through the moving knife connector so that when we operate the knife this will get connected to the moving knife after fixing the trimmer plate assembly we need to tighten the needle with this screw when fixing the needle make sure that scarf comes to the front side of the machine and tighten the screw of the needle after fixing the needle tight this blade along with this main screw as well as back side of the screw there will be a one washer tight this screw of the blade and before tightening the four screws of the trimmer plate we need to check the needle centering by rotating the pulley from the back side keep the needle down and check the needle centering from the front side as well as from the back side if this is not center just move the trimmer plate front and back and make sure you are fixing the needle center to the needle plate hole as well as press the blade from the top of the lever and make sure that blade goes inside the this groove and ensure if it is not correct move this plate and make sure that your blade goes center of the throat plate hole and then tighten the screws of the trimmer plate now i am going to explain you about how to adjust the needle bar height to adjust the needle bar height rotate the hand wheel from the back side of the machine and make sure that needle comes at the center of the needle plate hole then adjust the needle bar height now it's coming to the left side left end now again coming back to the left center yes at this moment we need to loose the screw of the needle bar from this hole loose the screw and then by using this timing gauge this is the gauge number 1 this height will be 11.9 mm we need to keep at the this 11.9 mm gap between throat plate and needle bar edge by adjusting the height of the needle bar and make sure that needle bar edge to throat plate it will be 11.9 mm and then tighten the screw from the top of the machine now to adjust the hook timing we need to use the gauge number 2 this height will be around 14.2 mm now by rotating the hand wheel keep the gauge between throat plate edge and needle bar edge and make sure that it is holding so that you will get a 14.2 mm now i am going to explain you about hook timing adjustment uh, insert this hook set hook shuttle to the main bottom shaft and ensure that hook tip this hook tip comes to the top now after fixing the hook shuttle to the shaft make sure that hook tip comes to the center of the needle scarf and at the same time keep the gauge number 2 when needle bar going up which is of about 14.2 mm between the needle bar edge and throat plate edge now at the same time bring the hook tip to the exactly center of the scarf 
to adjust the clearance, move the hook shuttle, and keep 0.05 mm clearance between needle and hook tip, and tight the hook shuttle screw. After adjusting the clearance, tight the hook set two screws with the 3 mm Allen key. After fixing the timing and clearance, make sure that we have to fix the hook shuttle inner stopper with the two screws and ensure that hook shuttle inner will fix in the stopper properly and then tight the two screws of the hook shuttle inner stopper. After fixing the hook shuttle stopper, make sure that uh, uh, hook shuttle inner should have a little play and it will be free, machine should not jam. Now fix the feed plate on the trimmer plate along with the guide plate, tight the two screws of the feed plate, then fix the sliding plate cover. After fixing the feed plate and slide plate, fix the work lamp so that we have a step screw for the work lamp. Make sure that step screw fixes inside the hole of the work lamp and fixing to the lever. And tight the work lamp step screw in buttonhole machine by interchanging these two gears we can increase or decrease the number of stitches in the button hole. We will get a set of these two gears along with the machine. Uh, according to different uh, number of stitches, we can change the number of stitches in button hole. Number of stitches means in button hole operation, total number of stitches starting from here to here up to here, number of stitches. By increasing this or decreasing this number of stitches, we can increase or decrease the button hole strength. By adjusting these two nuts, this is button hole bar tack adjustment and this is button hole width adjustment as per these dimensions. By using these two nuts, we can adjust the needle penetration left side and right side adjustment. This is the button hole width, this is the button hole width left side, button hole width right side and this is the bar tack width and needle penetration from left side to center and center to right side we can adjust by using these two nuts now we need to fix the upper trimmer to the machine take the upper trimmer and fix it to the upper trimmer holder and tight with the two screws okay. now before final tightening of the screws, make sure that 2 mm gap between the upper trimmer and work clamp. After standard adjustments of the machine, make sure that you thread the machine properly through all the thread guides, tension post, and to the needle. And very important here, we need to put the thread so that knife will drop. Now we are showing the stitches of the button hole machine. This is how we get a good stitches after adjusting the machine into the standard adjusting procedure. In case of any slight requirement of adjustments, we can do it by tension post or some other extra adjustments. Thank you very much for watching this video. For further details, you can contact IIGM Apparel Engineering Center, Bangalore. You can call me on 9341264238. I am Mr. Raghu, and you can also call Mr. Naveen on 9341966320. Thank you very much.